Right, hello and welcome back to Scotland's 19th hole. We're here with the second half at Shaw Park. So this is going to be the back nine. And what was a... Uh, we forgot our battery, remember? So we're, we're going to... Uh, we're just going to start here on the 10th. And uh, we're just going to see how we go on. So let's go. I just want to say, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, then hit a wee like on the button and maybe even a subscribe if you want. And I just want to say thanks to everyone that subscribed so far. We're on the road to 100. Let's see if we can get there. Cheers. Right, so 10th hole. It's a par 4. 307, I think it is, from the yellow. So we're just going to go with the 4 iron. That's a good shot. I'll take that one. Yep. So yeah, since the last time we've been here, um, the course, it's came on leaps and bounds. It's, it's looking back to its healthy green self. Uh, we've had a, a wee bit of rain, but a lot of dry, so the course has firmed up a wee bit, which is good because you're getting a wee bit more run off the tee, um, but hopefully the greens are a wee bit receptive so we can start darting at the pins. Not that that'll matter because it'll just run by, so I can't put any spin on the ball anyway, but no. The course is definitely looking back to its good self, so if you want to pop down for a wee round here, I highly recommend. We're getting into club championship season, so... The course will be a uh, top tip shape for that. And then we've got a few opens coming up here as well. So get involved in them. Right, let's see if we're still hitting it how we used to hit it. It's 74 to the pin. It's slightly downwind. We're going to go with the 60. Just float it in there. Skull bit. Spin. Spin hard. Then That is a... That is a lost ball. Take two. <sighs> Fuck's sake, man. Not the start I was looking for. Yep, so we couldn't find that one. That's annoying. Land a halfway and it should release. Looks good. Just a big, big bounce there. That's for a six. Early doors. Do not want to be seeing triple. Straight off the rip. It's going to move right to left. Or it's not going to move right to left. It's just going to go absolute dead straight. Get that hole pushed in. What's just happened there? Oh, I need. Oh well. Right, eleventh hole, par four, three hundred and forty-four yards. We're gonna go with driver. We're hitting it decent in the last time we played, so. Let's see how it goes today. Wind's hard off the right. Hit up on it, hit up on it, hit up on it. Wind might push that, it's a good strike though. I'll be alright there. I mean, sorry, I mean, I don't know if you could see what happened with there with that little tapping that I had, but I don't know if the cup was too high or I've just hit like a one in a million shot where it's hit the back of the cup and just jumped straight back out. Uh, I was halfway down to pick it up, nearly hit my hand. <laughs> oh well, definitely got our luck with us today. Um, <laughs> behind this tree here, I, I mean I could probably hit a full shot but I might clip, so I'm just going to hit a wee nine here, 120 yards. Try and play a wee cut. A cut, bump and run kind of thing. Hopefully get it running. 
my elbow just snapped there. Holy shit. Ow. It just cracked in my backswing. Right, we're in the sand here. I'm trying to get up and down for the four. What I will say is, if there's any flaws on this course, it is the bunkers. They are in the process of redoing them, so some of them are good and some of them are not. But, as I always say, bunkers are there to penalise you, so just don't go in them. Anyway. It's a tidy wee number there. A little wee mini rake here, good for miles, I think. Right, probably got about 10 foot here for the four. We really need to make, in fact, we really need to just par in. Oh, that was a good pot. That was unlucky. Right, hole 12 at Shaw Park. I mean, it's dead straight. But it's long. And today there's a hand, hard wind off the right. So we're going to go drive it again. And let's just see. Nah, nah, cut across it a wee bit there, that'll be gone. Get down. I'll hit again, that might take two. So I need to start it a bit more right. See the wind just took that one there and it wasn't an aggressive slice but it had a wee bit on it. So let's go a wee bit more right and let's just see how we go with that. I think I've blocked that one but I think that's what, I mean it whacked the tree so we'll see what it is. Right, we've got the second one. It's not a great lie. We've got 200. It's downhill, downwind. I'm just going to pop a wee seven out. First one's at the park. So three off the tee. This is four. It's a good shot. Might be a bit short, but we'll take it. Long putt here for the six, really just trying to get this in the three foot range. Good for pace. I think it's just outside that three foot range though, I'm not going to lie. But, now we're on the low side, we know we're putting uphill. Right edge, don't leave the hole. Nice. 13th hole, 292, maybe 280 today, into wind, but the score's gone, driver's coming out, zero Fs given at this moment in time. From the medals though, different ball game if you're on a score, probably recommend taking an iron as there's a bunker short right. Ah, I'm so shite. Turn. Ah, it's easy the second time, Bruce. I mean, that might still be in the bunker, but fuck. What's the point? I'm gonna run out of balls. Right, so you may have heard me on the tee when I'm hitting driver that I keep telling myself to hit up on the ball. Um, now, far be it from me to give advice. But I got this piece of advice from Tommy Fleet, did it? Tommy Fleetwood. So, um, I mean, not personally, it was a video that I watched, but I thought I'd, I'd take it because I'm off the tee with the driver's not very good. But so what he said to do was put a tee about three inches in front of your ball so that you've got to commit to hitting up on the ball. So you've got to hit your drive and then miss the tee. And so what he was saying, and th the theory is that when you hit up on the ball, obviously you're going to get more height or whatever, all the, I don't know the technical stuff, but basically there's less spin, and if there's less spin, there's less chance of going left and right. It's something like that, but i had been trying it, and it's it'd been working, so kind of 50% today, so we'll keep, we'll keep trying it, and um, 
If you're a wee bit wavered off the tee, why don't you give it a try yourself and let me know how you get on. Cheers. So this is the bunker I'm speaking about. So you kind of want to be up to the right. I did have a good line, I just don't have enough. It's into a wee bit of wind today as well, but I'm not making excuses. So, you know, if you're hitting off the medals and you're trying to take on the green, that used to be fairway, but they've they've left it long. So kind of going for the greens, kind of nullified now. But anyway, this is the sand trap. I'm, oh, this is the sand I'm talking about. And it's a, what, 40, 50 yard shot from the sand. So you don't be wanting that on medal day. We've got a little field shot here, probably about 40. So we're going to take the 56 and just, just try. Try and do what we've been working on at the range. Bounce left. Bounce right, okay. Take that. I nearly said first chance at birthday, but we're three off the tee. <laughs> right, let's see if we can make a five here. Bogey is probably not a good score in this hole, but if you're three off the tee, then can't say no to that, can you? Oh! Well, it's a five. A little more practice with the driver. It could be a three. Now, 14 at Shaw Park is a cracker. It's a par four. Raised T today it's into an absolute hooly. Still gonna persevere with that hit it up, hit it up though. I mean it could go nowhere, but I just want to start up oh, balls off the tee. I think it's a dodgy tee, we've got a little got a little nipple on it there. <laughs> One good shape for the hole. Into this windy day could be well back. Right. I've got away with one here. I thought I was coming back more right, uh, high right, but must have got a good bounce off something. Anyway, one four six, slightly downwind. The wind is there. Go with the P, and we're just going to float it in. It's going left. Is it enough? So the kick right, obviously I'm a golfer, uh, it's hit the bank, the bunker, we're pin high here for the three. Um, yeah, like a, that's what I meant to do, lol, not. Um, I thought we'd lost that left in the sand, but such is life. Take the good breaks with the bad breaks. Let's see if we can get this one in then. Right, not a lot in this one. Just want to make sure I get it to the hole. Famous last words. Pulled it. Went for it. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Not even worrying about making par. Just, just wanted to get that past the hole there. <laughs> But we do manage. Right, we're 170. It is blowing a hooly. I mean, it's slightly uphill, but I'm going to go nine from T. No, oh, I've got the cut again, but we're fucking wait. We're supposed to. I mean, you can hit the shots, you just. Golf shot required here. It's not the worst lie. Got to carry it all the way to the green then, it's downhill. I just want to get this, get this on and get it running. Sit, sit, sit. Ah, it's fucking went right over, man. Ah, average Joe's gym.
Nice. In with a wedge. Three ego. Right, the 16th hole is 400 yards, and this is a dog leg if you've ever seen one. Ideally, you're looking to hit it on the left side of the two cuts of fairway. Opens up the green a wee bit better. Yep, that's not the line. With that club, sit, sit. It's... <laughs> See, these are the kind of bounces you get in a bounce game. It sculled a tree, came back into the first cut. Perfect. Exactly what I was aiming for. Right, so, I think we hit that tree in the middle there. It's came back out here to probably the perfect position. Like I'm saying, the foot, we're really far left, and it's just opened up that hole. The whole green, you can see exactly what you're wanting to do with the ball. The further you are to the right, yes, it's maybe shorter, but it brings the trees into play. So, 200 yards, mega downwind. Actually, I'm going to go with a seven. Sand. So we were, or we are, in the sand. I mean, it, I think it did come, let, uh, come right off the face, but... Anyway, taking a risk here, I'm, I'm kind of showing you where I'm wanting to hit the, hit the ball, but we found a bunker that has been renovated, and there is lots of sand in this one, so it's just a difference in the sand. Maybe come and show you. Anyway, get it out. Get it there. Well, <laughs> the, as you can see in there, the, the camera did fall over, but like here's just a compact look how, look how better that monkey is compared, and we did manage to get it up kind of past the hole there, so not my best effort, but we'll take it. The rain is starting, I can actually see it in the distance getting closer, so I'm not saying we're gonna be rushing these last two holes, but Right, hopefully the audio is fixed. I'm getting actually pissed off with it, man. Right, so we've trundled our way down to 92 yards. Again, still in our wind. I really hope the mic's working, but... Right, we're 170 the day, uphill into the wind. I'm going to go with the fit. I don't know if it's the right club. This ball's cracked, I didn't even start. Oh, 
why are you even playing this game? You are so shite. It's absolute fucking... Sand again, good club again. This is a bunker that's not been done. Oh, that really take that long? Top guy. Oh. Change your balls. Anyway, lads, thanks for watching. If you stayed to the end. Totally appreciate it. Remember, leave a wee like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed that. I mean, if you enjoy watching somebody suffer on a golf course, then you should you should be subbing because that that was painful. It will be painful for me to watch again. <laughs>